Good early morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back again and again. Yes, I am at it again. I am in line to get COVID-19 tested. Let's see how this goes this time. <laughs> All right, I showed up like an hour and 45 minutes before it opened. Well, I think it opened at nine, but the sign back there just said open. So it's 7.35, it's supposed to open at nine. And I think I'm in a good spot. I don't want to jinx it. Check it out, we are flying. They actually were the most put together today. I'm, uh, this is my third time getting a COVID test. And they were the most, all at the same location, the most put together. It is 8.52. So they had a worker walking down the street, marking the cars if you were doing antibody, COVID or both, um, to mark your car appropriately. And then when I got to the front of the parking lot, they actually handed me the slip to fill out myself rather than them stopping and asking me the questions to fill out my name, address, and everything. They put the little bag right there on the windshield, and then when I go into the parking garage there, which I'm like four cars back, um, a physician or whoever it is grabs that and then they administer the test. And here they do the nasal test. So I should be out of here probably right around 9 a.m. on the dot. Look at that, be the timing, 8.56 a.m., already done, heading out. I should be home in just about 20 minutes if traffic's good. Uh, did a nasal, eight second swab in each nostril, and I should get the results. This now says four days, so, um, but that's good, easy peasy. All righty, it is much later in the day. I am preparing dinner before we head out for the evening. I'll wait for Peter to tell you where we're going. I already roasted these Brussels sprouts and um, purple potatoes for like 20 minutes. So now I am going to throw in the black bean burgers. I'm not gonna, usually I pan through them. Today I'm gonna bake them probably for like 10 minutes on each side. And then the um, roasted veggies will be done. And that'll be our nice hearty dinner. We're gonna eat the burgers on tortillas. Have you, have you guessed where we are yet? <laughs> we did it. We're back in the DVC line. We made it in the DVC line. But, there's a couple changes. First of all, you get assigned seats like at a restaurant. Each table has a cool name. We're at the Polynesian table. We almost got seated at Riviera, but then for some reason we got moved. Yeah. And now the, the top, right there, there's actually a table and the cast member gets it for you. Only downside. And I don't know if it's forever. I hope not. The, I mean, I don't drink it. <laughs> the, the coffee maker's gone. Yeah. So, I resorted to a cherry Coke. I'll get my strawberry cream soda on the way out. Yeah, so we got this park pass, again, last night. At 11.30 p.m. Really last minute. The little calendar on the availability doesn't show any availability. But when we went in to actually make a reservation, it was available. Yeah, a little so trick to the trade. Don't trust that calendar. <laughs> if, it, if it says not available, click on all four parks to see if any of them pop up. And if it says, because like we've already seen, if it shows available, you go to book a park, they're not there. So it works both Sometimes ways. Sometimes they are, it's just like, it yeah. just kind of exists differently, so. It probably isn't as, as fast updated. Yeah. Um, but as, we're here, as the thing is, yeah. we're gonna have a more relaxed night tonight. And just enjoy. It's so good to be home, mm -hmm. look at this. Okay, Peter's getting us water and his strawberry cream soda to go. It's closing in two minutes, so I think we're gonna do a couple of rides over here before we go to Royal Showcase. All right, so I got my strawberry cream soda and DVC line's closed. We ran into our friends Tom and Emily, so that was awesome. And then we, I also got to scoop on two of my favorite cast members, um, but I'm hoping to see them soon. 
but I'm not going to plaster their work schedule around the world. But I hope I see them soon. It's kind of hard because like we can't, like we're gonna go then because of Park Pass. But I heard they're doing good. It was just like fun event, no snacks. But and no coffee. Galore. And I AC. I think that this is like the remnants of the butterfly garden. We never saw the butterflies once. We never did. And I just like see the little, the little butterfly things. I'm like, can we walk through that? No, 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 no. Let's go try because then I can drink my strawberry cream soda before we try to hop on Big Mac. Okay. Cannot walk through. It's all right. Joy! Joy! Woo! What is he going to do? Just the frolic? We love you. That's so magical. Bye. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive through open house. Imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast! We're back. We're living with the land. Yes. Yeah. the need for chemical pesticides by breeding and using natural predators. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce valuable harvests and still protect natural resources. And melon plus rice account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Living with the land was spruced up. Yeah, I feel like like Sarah towards the end, Sarah's like, do you feel like they spruced up? I was like, I really think they did. She's like the details. And like they just seem like, like the props, like yeah. there was like a little dinner date night set up, like a table with chairs and wine, and it was just like everything had like a little extra magic to yeah. it. Yeah. And we were getting off, we did see a cast member walking up with their little spray backpack. Yeah, the sanitize. We decided, so we haven't seen any comments yet on the video, but we did acknowledge because of our excitement level yesterday that we did kind of do so on and then head out because it was later and we were tired from the busy day. So today we're doing Spaceship Earth now so that we can just soak up the last two hours and World showcase. Get dragged out of World Showcase tonight yeah. just by doing a good Earhart loop and just moseying. Yeah. Oh, happy. This one right here, cooking a baby, also has new shoes on. I'm just trying them out. They feel great. Good. But like, we're taking precautions, taking it easy. Yes. This is much more of a relaxed night. Yesterday, like, <laughs> we had fires under our bottoms. <laughs> Change of plans. <laughs> So what's different, I guess, about Spaceship Earth is that they actually closed the ride for 20 minutes to clean it. So we approached it right as they were about to clean. So they said to come back in 20 minutes. So we're going to go check out this side of, I forgot if this is East or West side of Future World. <laughs> the test track side. Ooh, that's really painted. Oh, we are in line. And what's nice is even though we had to wait the extra minute, uh -huh. extra like 20, we know we're getting a freshly cleaned car. Exactly. And you got them off your mask here. Yeah. <laughs> Like a grand and miraculous spaceship, our planet has sailed through the universe of time. And for a brief moment, we have been among its passengers. We didn't get a good look at this yesterday. Oh, uh, you know what this makes me feel like? What? It's like we need more impossible. I just love the style and the colors. Super cute. Taste of Epcot, international food and wine. Done. Ba -bum 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 -bum. Ba -bum 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 -bum. Um, first thing in the world showcase, there it goes. Do you want banana bread? And so we picked up the plant-based banana bread. Oh, plant-based. I'm not gonna skip. I never say no when Sarah says, "Do you want dot dot dot?" The answer is always yes from Peter. And so when I said yes, she goes, "Really? Yeah, of course." Yeah. I'm excited. I love banana bread. Let's get a, a, a real-time reaction. Well, these masks do a little, I leave a little bit of a mark on the nostrils there. Is it delicious? Mm -hmm. Sweet. 
You how about you just eat your half and I'll eat my half. I might keep that plate forever. Okay. <laughs> so the plan is just to bask. To bask in the beautiful sights and sounds of World Showcase Lagoon. The most bask worthy place in the whole land. We forgot to mention any Disney cast member who's not international, they are wearing the flag shirts and not the garb of whatever like country yeah. that we're in. So there's not as many international cast members, but they're still cast members. I think we need to get these. Do you? I know Sarah likes to use Alexa and I'm like, hey, Alexa set a timer for tea. I want old fashioned. So we're just relaxing here, enjoying the sights and sounds. Ah! We had a magical moment happen. We did. We got pretzels. I'm like emotional about this pretzel. They're fresh. They and are. Toasty. It feels like perfection and magic tonight. Should we enjoy? Yeah. Let's eat these really happily. <laughs> Yeah, this is another clip in Germany because it's like 9.20 and we're still just basking in the glory. And Sarah's uh... This is a big pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for her to call quits and, <laughs> and I finish it. <laughs> Typically I'm like, should we share one? And we're like, no. And then obviously they And then Gina, but... cast member of Germany, cast member of the year. Should have shared today. Should have some beer cheese dip today. Look at, look at this park, 940. Basically have the exit all to ourselves. We have the whole park to ourselves nice. pretty much. Yeah. Look at this. Oh goodness. The construction is still up and going, so we are gonna take this way. We think it's shorter. We think we, it's a little bit shorter. We should time it two different yeah. days. Yeah. As we leave for the night, we wanted to show you the cool trees because these were not here pre-shutdown. And everything the past two days we've just run in here with giddy joy and we couldn't show you, but beautiful evening. I come to you reporting not live from the home of the Brookharts to let everybody know that my program is still rocking it. I let it run when we go out in the evenings because it scans like, um, it scans something in our system and has to do like some actions that used to be manual, that used to take me a long time every single day and now it does it automatically and one of the triggers got set off while we were gone and it did what it was supposed to do. So now I, I don't even have to manually make a report for it anymore, it just does it! It's alive! Right Sarah? Right. She's eating, eating a, pickle. a pickle. And Eve went on a long walk with me and now she's drinking lots of water because she's exhausted. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We tried to take this shot so many times. One, this is what happens to lipstick when you wear a mask in the humidity. Two, we never gave an update on Evie yesterday after the vet. When I said her name, her ears went crazy. Um, so, yesterday everything went great, but they did have a note that Eve has gained weight. Like, a little over a pound, but that makes a big difference with a dog that's small. It's all my fault. Um, it's, it's a it's not. It's most of my fault. We have been giving her more treats throughout the day because we're here. I only give her three premium bars a day. I know. And um, a couple of churros. 
But we have been, like, she's had a little bit more rice, a little bit more tortillas, a little bit more, like, heavier things lately. Typically, her treats are very veggie, fruit-based. Um, but I know that that's the case. The good thing is she had blood work done that was just routine that they said was good to get regardless to make sure that nothing else was causing the weight gain. Yeah, so basically blood work came back clear, which means that, which is the better of the situation. It just means we've been feeding her too it much. It means it's our fault and it's and not, not her kidney's her fault. thyroid or, or her, her kidney right. or anything like that. Or like potential for diabetes. They, yeah. they list everything to like Scare show you. you how serious it is. You know, they talk about arthritis and joint disease and all of these different so things. So she gets one last premium bar and goes on extra walks now. <laughs> yeah. So, Moral of the story. Um, her activity is going to be boosted and a little less treats, but other than that, she's... She's a good, healthy pup. Yep. Gotta go back a little bit for vaccines, right? She got some and she needs a couple more, right? Yeah, she needs some, but like her insurance covers a certain amount and it'll, re like, her insurance will renew in August. July 16th. Message. Oh, second column for the month. Messages by Sandra Turley. Seek to be worth knowing rather than be well known. Ooh, I dig it, Sandra. Tomorrow's the weekend. Oh my goodness gracious. And what an exciting weekend we have. Yes. But you'll have to just come back and see. Shh. you have to come back and see. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.